Well, Leicester legend George Shooter has looked nervous at times throughout his playing career, but now he's more nervous than ever as he faces your questions that you sent in over Twitter. Thanks very much for those. George, are you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, focus <coughs> up. Uh, first one's from Jeffs. How big a difference to a resurgent Tigers will Tom Croft make? Uh, a sensible one to start with. Um, do you know what? Maybe none, because he may, he may not be fit and ready to go in time, but uh, certainly if he's back fit and, and uh, has a bit of game time on his belt, come the playoffs, he can be a huge uh, asset to us. He's a world-class player. Great athlete, knows. isn't he? Yeah, line out, uh, out wide channels. You know, there's probably no one like him in world rugby in those sort of respects. Just very unlucky. Yes, very unlucky. yes. David DC asks, who is the best player you've played with and played against as a Tiger and as an international? Good question. Um, probably from, from a skills and ability point of view, I'd say Jordan Murphy would be right up there. Just had everything going for him uh, in terms of skills and also a real good work ethic, uh, believe it or not. He was seen in the gym three or four times in his career, um, which was <laughs> fantastic. It was great to see him there. Um, but I, th I think my all-time favourite player was Jono. Uh, not, not necessarily against him. I didn't enjoy playing against him too much, but playing with him, he's a fantastic player. And um, I'm just, I'd, I'd like to play with him when he was really, really in his prime in the sort of the turn of the century a bit more. But there you go. Jordan Murphy, a man never really understood by Ireland management. Should have had so many more caps. Yeah, what a player. Yeah, what a player. Been. Olivia Royce asks, did you get Salvi an Easter egg? <laughs> um, no, I didn't. Uh, <sighs> Actually, I spoke to him earlier. Um, he sounded a bit weary and cranky. I think he, uh, he spent last night, he didn't get to sleep last night because he was waiting up for the Easter bunny. Um, I don't know if he came or not. But uh, we try not to encourage Salvi to, to eat sugar because he's got no teeth as it is. Um, <laughs> we, don't, we don't like to encourage that sort of thing. So, uh, no, I, I wouldn't spend any money on him anyway. Is he still singing musicals? Uh, probably, yeah. 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 Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, this comes from, uh, from Guy. Uh, what are your plans now you have retired? Coaching or assisting the Tigers? Is that G or Guy? Um, Guy. Guy, I Isn't think. That clarified butter. Guy. <laughs> it's something else in Ireland. I can't even explain oh, right. the answer the question. Um, I haven't, I haven't really got any plans right at this moment. Uh, I quite fancy a curry now, talking about Guy. Um, <laughs> Stop saying Guy. You have no idea how rude that is in Ireland. Stop um, saying it. Um, I, I, no, I've oh, no idea. I've, I've, uh, I've, I've done some coaching badges, so maybe, maybe coaching. Um, Maybe, maybe stand-up comedy with you, Craig. <laughs> just, just stand in front of an Irish audience and go, Gee, they love us. <laughs> this comes from Will Matthews. What's the best, what is the best prank that, uh, that's been pulled, or you have pulled, on a Tigers teammate? Uh, you know, I'm, not really, I'm not really much of a prankster. I'm more of a, a relentless verbal bully. Um, I, I don't, I don't you know, the pranks, they're OK. We, we had a few, well, it wasn't so much me. It was Sarah Rambini and Lewis Moody a few years ago. Uh, had a prank war going on that escalated in, it was incredibly quickly. I think uh, Seru hid Lewis's keys, and so Lewis ripped up all his clothes or something like that. And, <laughs> no, it, was, it was real childhood stuff, but uh, yeah, I've not, I've not really been much of a prankster myself. It's probably, probably takes a bit too much patience. <laughs> <laughs> and the last word for you: uh, Who was the best singer? You, and this comes from Sam Vesti. Oh. Uh, you or Dan Hipkiss Hip Hip adds <laughs> Seru. Uh, that, that's easy, it was me. We, we were in a band together, uh, myself, Sam Vesti, Ollie Smith uh, and Danny. Danny tagged along, a bit of a groupie. Um, <laughs> and we, well, when, when we did sort of like gentle rock and uh, sorry, gentle pop and girly songs, we got Danny to sing. Uh, and when we sang the real stuff, that was me. So I'm much, much better singer than Dan. Uh, Seru actually joined in, we did a, a charity do for, for Matt Hampson uh, in a pub and Seru came along uh, as Bob Marley to sing No Woman No Cry and didn't know any of the words. So I ended up singing it for him and he was there just sort of every, every other word he'd know. <laughs> um, Sarah Rubini we're talking about. Yes, him, yes. yeah, his English was, was never that great anyway. Um, and his uh, yeah, Jamaican's even worse as it happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for answering those. Thanks for all your questions, particularly Guy. Well done, Guy. Thanks, Guy.